It is time once again, my friends, for the week, Friday night. Meta, thank you for joining in today. Down below, you'll find the timestamps as we break down each format here. Best of one and best of three for the week, giving you the latest and greatest updates and decks and tips and tricks, all that fun stuff. Now, with that said, um, on top of that, if you got a question or comment, do let me know because I love to hear from you and come swing by and join our active Discord server. So thank you to everyone there. All right, so here's what we got going on right now in standard. Things continue to kind of shift around. We'll talk about some of these things here, but right now we do have mono white. Uh, humans at the top, mono red aggro, four color control, Selesny enchantments, mono red burn, gruel aggro, um, mono blue tempo, and Golgari mid range. Gruel aggro being kind of a newer entry this week, um, so that's one to pay attention to. Here on the right, you'll see mono red aggro still being one of the top played lists, and this is really our first week here as we get into the October season, so a lot of things tend to move around. Then we got mono white humans, a lot of people on Golgari. So that's the enchantments, uh, four color control. And like I said, Gruel Aggro right at 3%, breaking into the top 10 played. And here you can see the popularity here. Um, we got that mono red aggro. We do have mono white humans making a, a decent jump. We see really the switch between Golgari and mono white. Um, and then everything else kind of maintaining in terms of where we're at and how it's moving. And then down below here, we do see mono white humans continuing to do well. Um, things moving between that four color control and mono red aggro. And then again, other decks to pay attention to here for color control and uh, mono blue tempo becoming a little bit more popular. Personally, I've played quite a few of those lists. So I know a lot of you out there are playing that as well. Um, so that's what's moving around. If we add in that mono red burn and gruel aggro, you can see really this big change in gruel aggro here on top of played, same thing, um, something for us to pay attention to. So I wanted to call that one out there. Definitely not gonna be mythic yet because we are into the first week here. So we'll stay at that. That closes out standard best of one. Let's check out standard best of three. Here's what we got going on in best of three. We do have Esper Legends, four color control, Azor Soldiers, Esper Control, Bank Control, Mono Red Aggro, um, Golgari Midrange, and Saltai Control, which is pretty sweet. Um, seeing that happening there, definitely top two being Golgari Midrange, four color control. As we move down here, again, you can see that big move in Golgari Midrange, definitely one of the most popular lists continued up uh, tick in that four color control. Um, everything else kind of going sideways, except for that Azor Soldiers becoming a little bit more popular um, relative to the meta, and then additionally Dimmer Midrange dropping down, and, and on top of that Sultai Control being a little bit more popular. Now here on the win rate over time, we do see a big hop in that Azor Soldiers, um, and then a big decrease in Mono Red Aggro. Um, other things train down or Golgar and Midrange and some of the other lists. So that's important for us to pay attention to. Um, that is standard best of three. Let's go back to best of one and check out Alchemy. So Alchemy right now, we got Golgari Midrange at the top. We still have Mono Black Nazgul, Mono Black Midrange, Golgari Food, and Mono Red Aggro. And then when we look here on the right, we do have Mono Black Midrange, Nazgul, so definitely black at 40%, which is a lot. Um, in terms of what you're going to run into, mono red aggro, Golgari food, Golgari midrange. And then here you can see um, the big change really being that mono red in terms of play. We see mono black coming down. And then here on the right, we do see a nice win rate over time with Golgari. A little bit of a pop there. Now, mono black not doing as well out of the gate, but we do also have some other lists um, doing all right. So that's alchemy. Let's check out Alchemy Best 3. Really just mono black control 50%. We're going to call that one a day here. Let's go on to historic. Here's what we got going on for historic. We got Is It Wizards, Gogar Yagmoth, Esper Infinity, mono black control, mono green elves, rock those mid range, mono red aggro, mono green devotion. And then here on the right, again, definitely dominated by Is It Wizards. Everything else very tight in terms of that 2%. Here you can see that popularity over time. We do see mono green elves falling off off a little bit um, a lot of stuff kind of coming down which is important for us to see and then here we do see is it wizards popping down but again something to be expected with the start of the new season as always um, just because of the way the tiers get set up and how that happens so that's historic best one let's check out best of three here in best three we also have is it wizards at the top four clark kathis abs and combo rock those mid-range monogreen devotion gogari 
a Yagmoth, Dimmer Control. Then here on the right, definitely dominated by these two, well, three, four, really, is it Wizards, Control, Rakdos Midrange, and Devotion. And again, we continue to see that pretty close. The big uptick really being, is it Wizards uh, for best of three? And then here in terms of win rate over time, uh, Wizards doing very well. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Wizards doing very well. Now we see Yagmoth kind of coming down. We see a curve here in uh, Rock to Smid Range. Um, Kethis doing a little bit better and so forth. So um, that is best of three. Let's go back to best of one and go to Explorer. This is going to be our last best of one and best of three format here. Boros Heroic at the top, Slesnia Angels, Mono White Humans, uh, Mono Red Aggro, Mono Green Devotion, Rock to Sacrifice, Abzan Grease Fang, Zorus Control. Um, here on the right, again, pretty tight between that 8.5 to about 5%. And here we see continued tightness in the meta post Eldraine. You can see that Mono Green Devotion coming down. We also see Selesnia Angels coming down and a drop down, except Devotion coming up. Um, really, the only thing coming up is control in terms of Azorus. Everything else kind of sideways minus Abs and Grease Fang. And then again, similar when we look at that win rate getting tight, uh, a little bit tighter here. Now um, we do have Boros Heroic just right about over the top there. Mono White Humans still doing very well um, and a host of other things there. So that is Explorer Best of One. Let's check out Best of Three here in Best of Three. We got Boros Heroic as well. Followed by Gruel, Aggro, Mono Green Devotion, Rock to Sacrifice, Rock to Smith Range, Five Color Fires, <coughs> excuse me, Abzan Grease Fang, and Mono White Waste Knot. Um, definitely these top two, Mono Green Devotion, Rock to Smith Range, and then kind of everything else. And then here we look at that popularity over time. You can see that both kind of moving around, everything else kind of still moving sideways, but getting a little bit tighter in the band here. Um, and then here, win rate over time, similar Boros Rock way up here and then coming down. Um, again, slightly to be expected when we do a reset, um, and then we'll continue to monitor that and how that changes. Um, again, though, seeing that Rock to Sacrifice being pretty competitive, also Abs and Grease Fang, but kind of falling down there. Lots of movement here for Explorer Meta, best of three. Last but not least here, we got Historic Brawl, so let's check that out quickly. We do have Raghavan at the top um, in terms of win rate, quite by quite a bit actually. Um, Rusko in there, again, pretty big difference between the Sliver here um, at the 3 1 Itali, Atroxa, Emoti, and then two Atroxa and Azika, less than 50% on the right. Again, not tons of heavy play, but important for us to see what's going on. And then here you can see that popularity um, again in terms of kind of a downward trend uh, for all these decks. Kind of Atroxa picking up there though. Um, and then here that Raghavan popping up. Um, we do see Rusko popping up. We see a little bit of a loss there in the sliver um, and everything else kind of coming down. So that, <coughs> excuse me, is historic for us and closes out a lovely, lovely start to October. And I can't believe it's October already. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Eldraine as much as I am. We're having a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun in the Discord server as well, so check that out. Um, and if you get a question or comment, uh, let me know down below. Let me know what you're playing. I'd love to hear it, as always. Um, and on top of that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for checking out the video, and appreciate your likes and your subs as we continue to grow this amazing community. Down below, um, other great ways to support the channel is stay in the know. On top of that, we also have memberships uh, available, something for everyone. So thank you to all the members, as always. And on top of that affiliate stuff, we got cards there that you can check out. So if you need some of the Wilds of Eldraine, do that. Um, and lastly, we got a ton of great magic content available to you here on the channel and more coming all the time. So stay tuned for our weekly series here as always and other great decks and lists and gaming content here for Magic the Gathering coming your way. All right, take care. Enjoy.